What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, your Sunday's going well. I was trying to remember what day of the week it was there real quick. When you telework, you just completely forget what day of the week it is anymore. I literally woke up this morning, and it's Saturday for me, and I thought I had to be at work, and I was running late. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm losing my mind being teleworking for almost, well, actually, it's been a year today. Here today. And uh pugs underneath me snoring, so you guys might hear that a little bit. I'll try to get her muffled out the best I can. Tried to move her a few times and she just makes her way right back down by my feet all the time. Alright, let's talk USPS here. Most of you know uh on February nineteenth I sent out a priority express package of four cards to be graded to PSA. And I learned a lot by this, and I'm going to just come right off the bat. We're going to talk about registered mail and why you need to use that for your stuff instead of ins just regular insurance. But, so I mailed this package off on a Friday. It said, be there Saturday guaranteed. I'm like, ah, they're probably a little backlog because of the snowstorm. I'll give it to like Monday, maybe Tuesday, just in case. Well, my item kept saying arrived in Louisville, and it still today has not changed. I did place 5,000 insurance, so there were four cards inside of it. One was that Soto Acuna, numbered 1 out of 25 from Heritage, dual auto. A Herbert iMac True RPA on 99. A Herbert Prism RPA on 99. And that John Moran Orange Scripts um, auto, rookie auto. So at the time frame, it was like, I think I had them valued at like 51, 5,200. And now, of course, the stuff has gone up, especially the Herberts, and the Morant went up a little bit, too, because of a recent sell. But, you know, it is what it is, because sometimes you win and lose on whenever you do uh, pricing for insurance, and same with sending stuff out to PSA. Well, eventually, nothing happened. I started contacting local post offices. And they're like, everybody gave them, like, my local post office for work on Fort Knox was great. I mean, they went into it deep trying to help find it. And they're saying it's on a manifest, but they won't dig the manifest up. There's too many. And they use FedEx to overnight their stuff. They don't use the UPS. I mean, it was just like excuse after excuse. I literally figured that I've used around 10 to 12 man hours talking to people on the phone and preparing what I had to do for an insurance claim. I went as far as even talking to insurance adjusters out of Missouri because the regular post office doesn't handle this. It's like some special insurance group out of Missouri. The funny part is when I took my box down there and a lady saw the insurance on it, she goes, huh, you should try using registered mail instead. And she was explaining registered mail basically goes with the money, like I guess cash and stuff like that. And it's like you know, very tight security to where, like, a person walks with it. When it leaves his hand, goes another one. Somebody's got to sign for it the whole way to delivery. Plus, it can exceed the amount of what insurance you could put on either Priority or Priority Express. We literally did one for 150000 And no joke, it was the same amount that I paid for overnighting, and like my insurance, it was like 110 bucks both ways, um, either registered mail or by doing this. And it was for more insurance on the registered mail, which is the part that I, you know you really start looking at completely. So I didn't do anything that day because I didn't want to rip labels, and I figured I've mailed it Priority Express before, never had a problem because it's a one day thing, and you know what can really happen. It's handled more gently and everything. Well, it happened to me. So I ended up filing an insurance claim last week. And this is no joke. I had to verify that they want you to have receipts. And I had to explain to them on the phone that what happens if I traded cards to get this card? There's no receipt. We do that. That's baseball cards, you know. So she said, well, you're going to have to get it. Um, what was the word she used? I can't even think of it now. But anyhow, I had to go out. Oh, appraised, appraised, value. And I said, and she said, buy a licensed dealer. And I said, well, I'm a licensed dealer. 
She goes, oh, really? Well, you can do it yourself. I said, well, what do I need to show you that I'm a licensed dealer? I explained to her I have a federal EIN, a state sales tax license. I have a DUNS number. I have a website and all this stuff. She was just give it all to them. The more, the better. I'm like, okay. And so then I had to cut out like eBay comp pictures and stuff like that. It was a seven page document when I was done with everything that I had to explain all the stuff I went through. Like I had to go through missing mail and it went to Newport Beach and a guy named George Marcos never replied to me from out there. I tried calling various times and left messages and voicemail became full and nothing there. And they they elevated the district. Nothing ever happened yet since then. So they have till Wednesday. No emails. And it's just funny because on the website to get refunded on just the postage, I paid $37.25. It says you can file it after seven days for Express. I get an email from my local, not the Fort Knox one, saying you have to wait 30 days to you can claim this. How is that different from what's printed on the website? So everybody's making their own rules up along the way. So you guys can see where I'm going with this. Everybody is interpreting something different along the way instead of just reading what the regulation or what they print on the website says. This is why I'm kind of worried about my insurance claim because I'm, I am really think it's going to end up being denied and my appeal is going to have to be done through an attorney and I'm probably going to have to end up trying to sue the post office or something stupid like that. I mean, I, I, mean, I exhausted every resource I had. There were people on... YouTube that I knew were postmen helped me out. People who are customers that I knew I hit up for the years. It, it's nothing's made sense. And it's what the part is, is everybody that works for the post office that I've done business with or friends with all gave me the same thing. When I started calling 800 numbers and other stuff, it's all different across the board. I don't think one person gave me information that was the same completely through from start to finish that another person did. I, I mean, I had to go to the recovery center on to this. This is just a hassle. I'm just letting you guys know that if you put insurance, just regular insurance on a priority or express package that you're going to have to go through, you have to go through this recovery center, and then you have to go and look at this auction place for your stuff, and you have to look for up to six months to see if it goes there. So they don't auction it off <laughs> and prove that it's yours. Luckily, though, I have that PSA shipment manifest, so it kind of helps, too. So long story short, well, actually, we've been going long. <laughs> if you do, I advise anybody that's shipping anything of value to do registered mail, because if I would have lost a shipment of a 50 to 100 cards, this document and the time I placed onto it would have been immense, probably 40 pages long. And that's not even saying it's going to get approved. So if somebody else has ever had to go through this without having receipts, hit me up in the comments, email, Facebook me, because I'm kind of curious, you know, if, if I covered all aspects. Maybe I didn't. And if, you, if somebody ever runs into this, please let me know, and I'll give you everything that I've done and did to try to assist you, because I don't know where my case is going to end up at. But at least you won't have as many headaches starting off like I did. I'll give you phone numbers to the Missouri place and everything and how you can find your local post office phone number. Heck, I might even do a uh, video on that because a lady showed me where it's hidden at instead of calling. But if you go Google like local post offices, it only give you the 800 number. She showed me a go around behind it. I'm, I'm going to do another video on because I don't want to pull that up right now. But let me tell you, registered mail is going to be painful for anybody that does it. You still have to package your box up, but they have to put this special tape on it. And to find out, I haven't seen it yet. It's not tape. It's a cloth that they have to wet, she said, and go across every seam of your package. And I was like, well, can I just come down and get it from you? And she's like, well, we'd have to show you how to do it first. And she says, I think then I could give you a roll of it. But she had to look because she's not sure. Nobody's ever asked. She said, people just bring it to us and we do it. And I says, at every post office, she goes, I can't speak for other ones. And I'm like, great, because I go bounce between like three or four post offices, depending on where I'm going that day. And if I'm doing a, a direct pickup from me, I need to have the tape here. 
But I think with registered mail, I don't think I have the option to do that online, to be honest. I think it's going to have to be taken to a post office. And like I said, if you're a post office employee, please let me know on that too in the comments because I'm kind of curious. I think you have to take that personally to the post office because I don't remember seeing it on PayPal or on Stamps.com that you can send registered mail at all. I think it has to be taken to them just because of that stuff. And I'm told it takes a little bit of time when you're in line to do this. But from now on, if I don't have a receipt because I sold something to somebody, whether it was off of my slabs or what I, a lot of times out of the store, or if I send you an invoice, which I might start doing with a lot of people, and I do apologize, but if we start doing bigger deals, I may just send you a direct invoice with like what the card is and stuff on it. So we have a receipt because if they lose it, I don't want to go through this hassle again. And I do apologize, but uh, I know I do say I apologize a lot, but there's a lot of stuff that I've learned. And to avoid these headaches, it's got to be done a certain way. And I know it's a lot more work on some ends and a little bit of waiting 10, 15 minutes for me to generate the invoice properly. But I think we're going to end up having to do that on some stuff. I got on the little lots of cards and stuff like that there. We don't really have to worry about it. Um, but stuff that, you know, we're talking $300 plus on to it. I think I'm going to start generating stuff, even if we work a deal out on the side. With auctions that we do, I'll probably just still run it the way I do. Or I might just start telling people, email me your, ad, your email address and I'll start doing it. I'll, I'll think about for this Friday how I want to do it. But that's separate stuff. Registered mail <laughs> is the way to really go with this, like I said. Because they have to hand carry from person to person. And when it changes hands, so does signatures. So it's very easy to pinpoint who's at fault where. This Priory Express, all I got out of Louisville's di a little distribution center up there was, we gave it to FedEx. Well, how did there's anything else in the manifest, you know, been arrived? We don't know. We, we don't, we, we're not going to dig through all those manifests looking for it. Oh, you're not. My bad. You know, thanks, guys. I only do around ten to $15,000 worth of uh, shipments per year through you. Why why worry about me? You know, and that's the same thing. It's just imagine. I know a lot of people don't send stuff like I do. They're just going to turn you away like that. That's messed up. We pay for a service. We deserve to get good service back in return when something doesn't go right. Well, I know I've rambled on a little bit about this, but I wanted to update everybody, and I will do a video once everything's concluded to let everybody know what their decision is on my stuff, because that way we can help each other out along the way, and if you ever hear somebody, if my stuff gets approved, and people out there, you know somebody that's having issues and just lost a card in the mail, at least you guys will have somebody that went through it and got the insurance claim and how they did it, how long it took. Because I'll just let you know, it's different from a damaged item to a lost item. Damage gets done quicker. Loss can take up to 60 days. They told me because they're backlogged because of it. So hopefully... You know, I'll be able to take this as a big lesson learned. You guys can take it as, you know, good information. And if it ever happens, you can reach out to me. And I'll help you as much as I can with everything that I got. So that you'll be ahead of the system and not have to invest time and deal with the frustrations that I did. Just to get up to the most frustrating part. Am I going to get approved or not now that everything's submitted? All right, everybody, appreciate you watching the videos as always. If you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button as always. We're coming in. I think we're at like 34, 30 now-ish on subscribers. Getting close to that 4,000 where we'll do a nice giveaway for, I think we're going to do top four. We're going to do 4,000 top four, 5,000 top five type deal. And we'll keep doing that for a little bit. Up to maybe like 10,000 and we'll, we'll start looking at it after that how we'll do giveaways. But that might take a while, so I'm just thinking out loud here. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good weekend. Uh, have a good start of your week. I got a couple other videos that will be out this week, some openings and stuff like that as well, too, because I want to try to mix it up. 
a little bit with the videos that I've been doing here recently. Other than that, everybody, I'll talk to y'all later.